Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Like every other company, NVFC also conduct audits to check whether they have complied with all prescribed norms and avoid penalties for non-compliance. If you need assistance for your NVFC, connect us on number given below. We will discuss the concept of NVFC audit in this video, but first we must understand what a non-banking financial company or NVFC is. According to section 45 clause 1 F read with section 45 clause 1 C of the RBI Act 1934 as amended in 1997 a non-banking company NBFC is an institution whose principal business is receiving deposits or debt of a financial institution such as lending investing in securities higher purchase finance or equipment leasing according to the RBI circular published on December 6 2006 Companies financing real or financial assets will be classified as asset finance companies. The remaining companies are classified as loan investment companies. There are three types of NVFC companies and these are asset finance company, investment company and loan company. Let's begin with the topic NVFC audit. NVFC or non-banking financial companies are a vital part of the Indian economy. These entities play an essential role in equipment leasing higher purchase and loan and investments. What are the objectives of an NBFC audit? Ensuring the healthy growth and financial company to ensure that NBFC company function as a part of the financial system within the specified framework and policy. The NBFC company does not have a systematic of abbreviations. To maintain the quality of surveillance and supervision banks exercise cover NBFCs. Now, we must understand types of audit depend on the type of company. There are three different types of audit for NBFCs as per ISO 911-2018 standards. Process audit. This type of audit is conducted to verify whether the processes in the companies are following the predetermined instructions provided by the governing body. Also, the primary objective of performing this type of NBFC audit is to ensure that the company process does not involve any activity that does not adhere to these rules. Product audit. This type of NVFC audit is done for any specific product or service. Auditing the product or service includes hardware processed materials or software. This audit is performed to ensure they, they conform to specifications, performance, standards or customer requirements. System audit. This type of NVFC audit is conducted at the management level. It ensures that everything is useful and meets specification and allows for proper development of the system. After knowing the concept of NVFC, the question arises who is authorized to conduct NVFC audit. NVFC audit is conducted by an eligible person appointed by the company management. It is led by the chief audit executive who reports to the audit committee by the board of directors with the reporting to the chief audit officers. As per RBI guidelines, a CA conducts a statutory audit under the Companies Act 2030. An external auditor and independent parties perform this type of audit. Now, let's talk about through the necessary steps involved in conducting an NBFC audit. First, reviewing the memorandum of association and article of association. Second, inspecting board or committee meeting minutes and engaging with apex level personnel to understand company function better. Third, evaluating the internal control system and ensuring compliance with the net own fund requirement. Fourth, verifying the certificate of registration and classifying the NBFC based on its activities. Fifth, checking compliance with prudential norms, accounting standards, asset classification and capital adequacy norms. Sixth, evaluating internal financial control and risk management system. Seventh, performing necessary verifications as per company's auditor report 2020. Do you know what the key audit areas in NBFC audit are? Many points are included in the auditor's report that differ in the type of activity the NBFCs are involved in. First, physical verification or company shares or securities. Second, verification of prudential norms and compliance with the accounting for investment. Third, classification and provisions for loan and advances. Fourth, confirmation of large agreements and higher purchase agreements. Fifth, examination of dividends income and asset assurance. Sixth, verification of investments and loan transactions. Now, understand what information will the auditor include in his reports. After conducting the audit, the auditor prepares a report as per Section 143 of the Companies Act 2013. The report includes all findings and reason for unfavorable or qualified statements. This report must be submitted to the Board of Directors and the Regional Office of the NBFC within the prescribed time. And there you have it a comprehensive overview of NBFC audit. 
We hope you find this information useful and gain insights into the auditing process for non-banking financial companies. If you have question or suggestion, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.